What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. So today I wanna to talk to you about the new 16 inch MacBook Pro. All right, let's go. Okay, so I am super excited about the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Why? Because um, I think they've upgraded the ability in um, three main aspects. The RAM can now reach 64 gigabytes. Um, the hard drive space can go up to eight terabytes. And the video card finally, finally, finally has eight gigs of video RAM. And that I think is the most important thing um, for the MacBook Pro. It actually allows us to do what you would normally only be able to do on your desktop. Okay, so I decided to buy it. I maxed it out and uh, for me, it makes the most sense. Why? Because um, traveling around with my feature film, I want to be able to have access to my version of the edit. I'm working with different people, but my version of the edit and uh, be able to, you know, not bring it around with dongles, with, um, with uh, separate hard drives. And that has been the biggest pain for me. Uh, so normally I have two two terabyte um, drives and then I've added an additional two terabyte drive. Um, to to manage all the data for my feature film and with six terabytes in addition let's say for example you have two terabytes of personal stuff six terabytes of extra room that is a huge game changer for me because then I don't have to carry around these additional hard drives and um, so you know even though it's a MacBook Pro and it's a laptop that you can bring around What's been frustrating is that every time I shut down my computer, I have to detach three different hard drives and, uh, you know, and then move to my next location. Or if I want to bring it out with me, I'm less inclined with this type of setup. I am totally um, happy to bring out my MacBook Pro thinking that maybe I'll need it on production or I'll need it while I'm at a film shoot. And that's going to be huge. And I think so for me, all those things are well, well worth it. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, if you're a feature filmmaker, then I think it's really worth the money to invest in this type of laptop and max it out with the top video RAM, uh, the top RAM, and also the maximum uh, hard drive space. And of course, if you wanna upgrade the processor, I think that's, of course, it's always gonna help. Um, but let's say, for example, you're only doing YouTube videos. I do want to talk about that. If you're only doing YouTube videos and you're shooting in HD in um, you know 2K res, then honestly, I don't think you actually even need um, this laptop. I think you could buy a 2018, and um, you know I was using my um, 2016 laptop up until now, and that had 16 gigs, gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and four four gigabytes of video RAM. And that is completely sufficient to edit your videos and handle them. And you can even have less than that. It's obviously, um, you know, it gets slower and there's weaker performance. But you know what? Honestly, like if you have to wait an extra minute for a render, it's not going to be a big deal if you're only doing uh, YouTube content or um, stuff that's not at the feature film level. Now, let's talk about if you are going to be doing... Um, you know, you are going to be doing some of these short films. Then, of course, I think the things that I would prioritize first are I would prioritize the video RAM the, the, um, the most. Uh, for sure, I would get the 8 gigabytes of video RAM if you're editing because that's going to help um, last you the longest in terms of um, this, this laptop being able to serve you well for, um, for film projects. Next, I would order probably some more regular RAM, um, 32 gigs, although uh, honestly, 16 gigabytes has been plenty. But um, of course, if you have an editing project and you're trying to get into other applications, then I think you'll need additional RAM. So 32 gigs would be enough. Um, then I would get um, more storage space. And I think four terabytes would be um, good. It seems like at the two terabyte level, the value for $400 US more is not as enticing as let's say a four terabyte and four terabyte would give you enough space. I think the eight terabytes would be excessive for someone who, um, you know, who's for example, gonna carry around um, a larger hard drive. Maybe it's like 20 terabytes, or whatever it is. I think four terabytes would be sufficient. 
And, um, you know, in terms of the processor, I think, you know, that would be neck and neck with some of these. So maybe you would go more processor, uh, less RAM, or you would go, um, you know, more processor, less storage space. These are the things you got to tailor to yourself to what you're going to order. But um, ultimately, even the base model, if you want to start out and you want to get a brand new laptop, you don't want to get one of the older models, I think the base model um, is, uh, would be fantastic, even with four gigabytes of video RAM um, and, the, and the processor and the RAM and one terabyte hard drive space. That's plenty, plenty, plenty if you're just starting out. If you're getting this for your kid, um, the base model I think is plenty, plenty, many, plenty, plenty for them to start out on and then grow with it. And, uh, you know, one of the, one of the other things too is, you know, as the price of the laptop gets more expensive, it does become more worrisome to bring it around. So, um, you know, you ha that's what I try to keep in mind. I've up until now have, you know, had this 2016 and it, I got it on sale. It was about 2000 us dollars and it, it makes me much, much more comfortable to bring it around. But, um, at this point in time with my work, the horsepower is limited. Now, um, the, you know, the other balance is, you know, you're spending a lot of money if you're maxing out the laptop. For me, it makes sense because I work with other people. Um, and I'm, you know, and I want to be flexible and I travel, I'm in Hong Kong, I go to LA, I go to New York and I want to be able to travel with my stuff, least amount of stuff carrying, um, carrying hard drives and just have it all in one nice little laptop. So for me, it makes sense, but you know, you need to think about, um, what your workflow is. If you're not always going to be bringing your laptop around, then this might not be the right setup for you. You might want to, if you're always at your home and you're editing and you're shooting around your house, then, um, you know, the value would probably be more in a desktop and go for the Mac pro when it comes out in December. Um, so I am super excited though, because, um, this version of the MacBook pro, I think opens up endless possibilities for me to travel and uh, do some, do things on the road and not be hindered by not having enough horsepower or, or storage space. So that is super exciting. And, uh, I'll let you know how the performance is. Um, you know, once I've received the laptop and like updated with all my stuff, I definitely want to update you on, on, uh, how, how well it goes. Uh, but until then, um, you know, hopefully this will help you make a buying decision and uh, definitely leave me a comment down below if you have some questions about what you're, you know, what the trade-offs are or what you're going to go for or not. Um, but uh, okay. All right. Uh, until next time, I uh, hope you'll subscribe and talk to you later. Thanks.